I'm getting a mill. If uh, you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that flip-flops and pyjama bombs are becoming a bit of a thing. Unfortunately, the time at which my brain seems to work its best is during the stupid hours of the night. So quite often I'm out here doing stuff in nightwear. But so long as you can forgive the pyjamas and flip-flops, I've got a bit of an interesting one for you today. I can't honestly say my introduction was very subtle, so uh, yeah, I'm getting a mill. It hasn't arrived yet, and I need to prepare for it. It comes in a couple of days. So prior to it arriving and me giving it a rundown and a play, I need to make some room for it. Now what I'm basically going to be doing is removing this um, shelving unit, and I'm going to be building a 80 centimeter by 80 centimeter square table in the middle here that needs to be high enough to fit this um, tool chest underneath. So without going too in detail, I've uh, bought some timber, and I've got some MDF for the top. So I'm just going to do a time lapse of ripping this thing out and putting a new one in. And then we can all have a look at the mill when it arrives together. So let's do it! This thing was up there. Well, that's everything off the uh, the shelves. Now it's time to actually get the shelves off the wall because they're screwed in. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Now where on earth am I going to put this guy? I've been wondering where that rubber mallet was for years. Ooh, and a step drill. Nice. Well, now that we've got the plastic shelves away from the wall, I think I'm just going to bung them outside. Uh, I might end up recycling some of this in the end and maybe storing it underneath a new table I'm building, but uh, yeah, for now, it's just in the way, so let's bong it out. Well, with the area more or less prepped, it's time to get on to actually building this thing. So again, cue time lapse. <laughs> solid bolt into the wall. If it can hold my weight, it should be able to hold the weight of the mill, although it is very heavy. But uh, yeah, I guess now all we have to do is wait a couple of days for the mill to arrive, so let's do that. Oh. Well, as you can probably tell, this is not a milling machine. There seems to be a bit of a thing on this channel about being let down by couriers. And for whatever reason, they only sent me the accessories I'd ordered with the mill, not the actual mill itself. So I'm not going to do a full run through, but let's get these out and see what I've ordered. Because I'm sure you're as keen to see the mill as I am, so I don't want to delay that in the video. So we have one collet wrench. One 10mm collet. A set of three precision cutters. A 10mm cutter. A size 3 Morse taper ER32 collet holder. And another ER32 3 Morse taper collet holder. I don't know why they sent me two, but I hope they haven't billed me for it. Oh boy, this one's heavy. And that's a 10mm precision vice swivel base. Let's open this thing up and have a proper look at it. Handle. And that's a bit of a beast. Now, when I was looking for a vise, I like the look of this one. Uh, for a start, the handle comes on and off, so it's nice and quick and easy to uh, adjust. But it's also a midpoint opener. Hang on, let me move it to the edge. What I mean by that is when you adjust it, both of the, uh, the jaws open simultaneously, and they close precisely in the middle. 
I'll tell you, that's some beautiful machining actually. Those jaws align absolutely beautifully. So yeah, this thing is going to be getting strapped on once the mill arrives. So with all of my new goodies unboxed, it's now just a case of waiting for the mill. Now I've been assured it should be arriving tomorrow, but I don't know, colour me sceptical. Uh, I've been let down too many times, so I guess we'll just wait and see. Nice. Well, it's here, all 140 kilos of it. I've got no idea how I'm going to move this thing. It's the next day and here it is. Got the beast up here at last. I haven't yet bolted it down or sorted it out, but just to give you some context, the reason I didn't film getting it up here is because it took me and my partner an hour and a half to get it from the bench outside onto a platform I'd got on my trolley and then to slide it up a slope onto here. It's not so much the weight of the thing, it's the really awkward shape and the fact that all the weight is in the pillar at the back and the base, all of this is much lighter. So this is from Axminster. It's a Sieg SX 2.7 V2 model. You can see at the moment it's got a drill chuck installed with the safety guard. Up here we've got the on-off switch, the lock for tapping and the speed controller with the emergency stop. Down here we've got a little DRO for when you're doing your precise measurements. A little feature I like is on the back here there's two little USB ports so I can always plug in a light or similar if I want to later. And then we've got the various controls for the X, Y and Z axis. It's a fairly reasonable sized table for what is still technically classed as a mini mill, even though this thing's actually fairly large. But we've got all locking controls here to lock the table down when we're wanting to mill. And overall, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it's a nice bit of kit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it kitted up, I'm going to put the vise on, I'm going to bolt it to the workbench, I'm going to remove the drill, chuck this in here and replace it with the collet holder, uh, and then hopefully we'll give this thing a play. So, let's do that. So what you won't have seen yet is I'm currently in the process of making a surface grinder and I need to make a magnetic chuck. So I figure for my first project on the mill, I'm going to be cutting out of this piece of aluminum to fit these neodymium magnets. Now I did have a try with a router uh, doing this, but it just wasn't up to the task, so it's time to give this thing a try. I've got the measurements right, so I don't know whether this is too much of a bite to chunk, but I figure it's aluminium and it should be fairly easy to cut, so I'm going to take it very slow and we'll give this thing a try and see what happens. Well, that's what the final cut came out like. 
This part here wasn't from the mill, that was from the router before. It's not 100% perfect, but it's my first ever time using a mill, so I didn't expect it to be. But overall, I'm happy. It looks nice. It fits the magnets, although to be fair, I got my measurements a bit wrong and I went a little bit deep, but that was my mistake, not the mills. I'm really excited about putting this thing through its paces. Um, I've wanted a mill for absolutely ages, and now I got one. You're definitely going to be seeing this thing in future projects, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're interested in that sort of thing. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! What I have learned is milling is messy. And that I'm now stuck in my workshop for the foreseeable. Rude.